how are you guys doing, us? Welcome back to the channel. This is our last day in Kyoto, well last morning really, so we've got our train to catch at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So just to kill some time, we're going to head north to Kyoto Station, there's a little temple behind us. getting some rum I can smell it from here like it smells amazing oh, so much flavor to this real meaty flavor oh this meat sticky mouse oh. so meaty this is just so meaty, so much full of flavour to it. It's still hot. Oh my god, this is probably some of the best ramen I've had. This is this is amazing. Mm, Break the egg a little bit here. We're shabby shabby that. Oh my god, that was amazing. But why is this our last meal? This is our last meal in Kyoto and it's gonna be just mine alone. Alright guys, that now we're gonna fare goodbye to Kyoto. Okay, we're gonna catch the Shinkansen or bullet train from Kyoto to all the way to Tokyo. It's about 2 hours and 20 minutes give or take. A little bit of something as well, like when catching the bullet train in Tokyo, there's not a lot of space for luggage. It's like very limited space at the very end of the, each car. So what we're trying to do, we're gonna camp out a bit early, like our train's not for another half an hour, so we're gonna wait here for a bit. Try to be the first ones on and try to reserve those little spaces on each car so that way we've got some space for luggage. The alternative to if you have like big luggage you want to carry on the train is one you either go or one is this option. The third, second one is actually hiring the green train and the third is actually doing a luggage delivery that delivers from your hotel to your hotel. Kyoto you've been great. I miss you Kyoto and I'll just hope I'll see you again. Not 15 minutes ago, and now we just reached no like in 15 minutes. It was pretty sunny when we left Kyoto. from Tokyo to the Maid Cafe which was insane like Recording, we couldn't record footage of the maids, we got record footage of ourselves because you're not allowed to take photographs and do videos of the maids. <laughs> and we've made it to Shibuya. This is also made famous for the Shibuya crossing where you see all these people just running across the intersection. <laughs> you probably see that intersection famous everywhere on like Instagram TV, like anything that symbolizes Tokyo. This is where you will find that famous crossing. Second level, and you get like a good time lapse view of the entire Shibuya crossing, which I'll show you now. Head up there, get the Starbucks best view of Shibuya crossing. And now we've made our way down to Shibuya's Mega Donkey Over Stores. We've seen a few other Donkey Over Stores in the previous vlogs, but this is the Mega one in Tokyo's. For the guys that don't know that Donkey Over is a big department store in Japan, they pretty much sell everything. It's pretty much the American equivalent to. Costco. Yes, you shall. When it hits you, yes, 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 yes. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shall. It's a uh, boy's <laughs> Sailor Moon costume. <laughs> yes, you, you holler, yes. One, two, three, do it. Up our 
ramen fix. Itadakimasu. Have a sip of the broth as well. Oh, it's nice. It's got more of a media flavour to it, not too salty, you know. Try some of the meat. Good talk. Okay, we're about to walk down the Takeshite Street. And because it's a weekend, it is going to be crowded as... It's going to be just congested. So I'm going to just show you how congested it can be on a weekend. This is crowded. Stay close, Rach. We can get the big fairy floss or cotton candy. The huge servings of cotton candy, fairy floss. Look at it. Uh, like a bubblegum flavor. We can try it out either at the same time. They keep feeding it to me. I'm gonna review the uh, cotton candy fairy floss this way. Oh, that's sweet. Oh it has a little bubblegum taste to it. We've got to walk and eat because it can't really stop here and talk about it. Ah. <laughs> ah. Orange tastes like orange. <laughs> um, I'm down to the last layer. Um, pretty sweet. It's like strawberry. Good stuff. Okay, that was the end of the Takeshita Street. If you keep heading... Took them off. That's all cute and quiet for the younger crowd. The third head down is like teenagers. If you head down a bit more, it's more of like adult fashion. So like, if you keep following down, the older the demographic goes, but. And now we're back at another Pokemon store. This is the big one in Tokyo. This is probably the biggest one of all three of the stores we went to. Let's go inside. Get scratching. Ah, 